once I became a functioning adult um, <laughs> at 16 uh, <laughs> in movies, I found this sense of pride and and respect in standing up for my fellow partners, whether they were male or female, but usually women. In the movies I've made in the last five years, which a lot of them were large studio films, and I had the, you know, I was fortunate enough to be the lead in them, and, you know, in turn you have a, sense of uh, power in that, in, you know, in being lead one, people, you can say things and people listen to you and um, understand it in a certain way, you know what I mean? And um, I had female actors in my movies um, who were older than me, who were older actors than me, but were not, uh, had not done as many movies, um, were newer to the industry, were, were, you know, younger in that sense, in terms of uh, experience. Um, and I found myself learning to stand up for them. Even though I was a younger actor, I found this sense of, if I know they won't speak up for themselves because I know they're afraid, and if I don't stand up for what they want, then I'm doing an injustice. It was usually adult women who, you know, a lot of the time it was sexualization of their character and they didn't feel comfortable with wearing that outfit or saying this line or doing this in a sex scene. And I would have to go to the director and go, hey, they won't say this to you, but they have an issue with this. And I completely stand behind them and I agree with them. And I just want you to understand that there's an issue with this and you should talk about it with them and this should be figured out, um, whatever the issue is. And a lot of the time, most of the time, it comes down to sexualization of the character. It, it trickles down from the top, you know, all the heads of almost everything are, are men, adult men. And if you only see movies out of one gaze and one ethnicity, then, I mean, it's propaganda. You know, what you start to realize is that's, that's um, you know what, the easiest way to describe it is Wonder Woman. That is the most simple way to speak about it because we have seen how many superhero movies in alone the past six years, much less our entire lives. Um, Wonder Woman was the same idea as all the superhero movies we've seen before, except we had a female director and a female superhero. Not a female superhero counterpart in a massive franchise, one who is leading her own movie, leading her own franchise, and it changed the view of superhero movies for the future. I mean, you look at all the young men that I've talked to who are my friends and my brothers, and they say it is the best superhero movie they've seen. Not just because, oh, it's a woman lead, it's just a, an amazing movie because guess what it is? It's innovative, it's different, because you're seeing it through the lens of a woman, through the ideal of a woman and what she's standing for, and it's different than what we've seen before, and it's a different feeling than what we've seen before. And that's what art is. Art is innovation, it's supposed to be groundbreaking. If we see the same story said through the same lens of the male gaze over and over and over through the same male perspective, then nothing's interesting anymore. It's, it's stagnant. And what is the point? And that I think is what we've been living in for the last, since the beginning of this industry really.